Fire crews are back at a lumber yard in Oakland tonight after a massive fire sparked there last night. Crime Force Leslie Gooden joins us in the studio now with the latest on this, Lesla. Yeah, that's right. Nearly 80 firefighters responded to this fire at the lumber yard around 8 o'clock last night. Now, crews were able to eventually put the flames out, but right now they are still working on certain parts of this property. Flames filled the sky Sunday night around the Economy Lumber Company off of Interstate 880 in Oakland. While no one was injured, the fire spread quickly and ended up destroying at least one building. The building is a large footprint, so it's a, it's a showroom, it's administrative offices, um, a warehouse, and then a large lumber yard outside full of, full of wood. Uh, so it burned for several hours. Michael Hunt with the Oakland Fire Department says crews initially struggled gaining access to the lumber yard and the surrounding area. Property sits the border. The borders a railroad track, so we couldn't put uh, all we could bring was hose lines on the railroad track to put water uh, on one side of the property, and then um, the then High Street also borders it. So getting apparatus into the property was a challenge. Fire crews were out on the scene all day Monday, working with the owners to go through the property for any additional hotspots. Excavation crews, the heavy equipment uh, operators to uh, assist in picking apart the property and then um, additionally make sure that any flare ups are being quickly extinguished throughout the process of pulling apart the structure uh, that needed to be needed to be demolished last night. Uh, you know, there were several small rekindles which were quickly uh, mitigated. And officials say it's still not clear if the fire started inside or outside of this property and this remains as an open investigation and they are expected that excuse me they expect the crews will remain at the site until possibly around midnight tonight. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Good and Cron for News. Leslie, thank you. A lot of people